The modern merge process is new to many of our users. If your organization is familiar with the mail donor acknowledgement process in Database U, you are in a way already on the path to successfully launch the modern merge automation process. We'll start by reviewing the current state on how conditional letters are managed in Razor's Edge 7 or Razor's Edge NXT database view, or if you are a church management customer within your database view. You begin by defining the export fields that need to be incorporated in the acknowledgement letter. We know that you'll have the standard fields for name, mailing address, and general gift information, but you can also identify fields that can be incorporated for conditional purposes. From there, you determine if you would like to use a simple merge, which is one document, or conditional. Conditional merges allow you to establish three or five letters. And for some organizations, you, have, you may have as many as 25 different mail templates. It comes down to your organizational business practices and needs. From there, you choose the conditional field that will determine which acknowledgement is merged for the donor. Establishing that condition then leads you to content creation and establishing the merge fields within the letter. Many of you are familiar with the additional capability of incorporating a standard Microsoft feature of if-then-else statements. As we've emphasized since our December sessions, this is a feature that is available when you are utilizing the desktop version of Microsoft Word. It is not a capability or functionality that is available on the cloud-based version of Microsoft Word. Once your letters are complete on your day-to-day -day basis, you are typically opening your donor acknowledgement template, selecting Merge, are then prompted to either define a file path or you're confirming one that you've already established and then marking the gifts as acknowledged. These steps are familiar to many. Modern Merge is packaging these steps for you. So let's take a look at what that experience would be like just by going over some simple steps. Our team has established a modern merge kit that you would be able to download and establish within your Power Platform environment. The conditional flow provides you with an option of a unique acknowledgement letter based on campaign, fund, appeal, or in some cases, it may be based on the gift type. The conditional acknowledgement letter is going to be similar to the experience many of our users have had in the past, where you define the letter code and associate it with the gift record. From there, that letter code allows you to know the content that is within that template. When you adopt the flow kit that's been established, you are then able to modify or amend that flow. Our example schedules the acknowledgement letters to automatically merge at 11 p.m. You may determine that that merge needs to happen the next business day, let's say at 8 a.m. You're defining the template locations so that they are pointing to your SharePoint, SharePoint or cloud-based environment. You're defining which staff members need to be aware 
of the acknowledgement merge letters completion, or if there were no letters to be merged at all. You are also amending the export fields. The kit that's been established reflects some general information, the donor name, the contact information, and some general gift details such as the gift amount, the gift date, and the fund. If your organization incorporates additional information, you would want to amend both of those portions of outputs. From there, you define the file path. Where should the merge letters reside? Once this process is established at your organization, the automatic merge will be able to run without manual oversight. Of course, you would amend the letters based on your business practices so that individuals <clears throat> receive the most up-to-date content with the appropriate staff signatures and so forth. We encourage you to visit the Sky Developer site that highlights the Microsoft Power Platform acknowledgement letter flows for the step-by-step -step process. We also encourage you to subscribe to the YouTube channel where you are able to see recordings of the modern merge automation process. Thank you.